What is up, my gentle stallions? This is Psy Starcraft, giving you another replay here. This is number 15, I believe. I am Psy now, in the east position, the red zerk, and I'm playing against... Ba -ba -bom -bom. DWR Hunter in the north position, he is the blue Protoss. Um, I'm going to upload this on Psy Starcraft, and uh, on Richter, I'm going to give you a you know, like a link to Psy Starcraft, because I want to start getting you guys over there. Uh, the reason I'm making that name is because when I made Richter 19, I wasn't really expecting all these commentaries, you know, like Starcraft uh, commentation. I was just, you know, I just had the name so I could subscribe to other people and get their videos. But now that I'm getting into the Starcraft scene, I want a better suited name. And so Psy Starcraft just kind of goes along the lines of Husky Starcraft, HD Starcraft, so I'm kind of stealing it from them. I just think it's a really good idea. If you're just kind of surfing around on YouTube and you see Psy Starcraft, you're like, oh, okay, I know exactly what kind of videos that guy is going to have. So that's my reasoning behind it. Uh, Psy comes from when I was really young. I actually started out as Psychotic, and then I got older, and I was like, wow, that's a stupid name. And so I changed it. I shortened it to Psy. So I am now Psy Starcraft. If you want to uh, find me on Battle.net, I am Psy.Psy. So you can add me there. I can't guarantee that I will play with you because I probably don't like you either that or I just can't play with everyone all at, all at once obviously but be sure to add me on Battle.net and please subscribe to Psy Starcraft eventually I'm going to wean my way over there and only start making videos on Psy Starcraft but let's get back to the game at hand this probe is a threat I need to take care of it before he decides to attack my hatchery is he going to no, he is not. He's choosing to play it safe and not attack my hatchery. But I'm going a 14 pool, transferring to gas already. Pretty standard right here. The toss is going one gate. I can see what he's doing so far. He's getting gas, so he's going to get his core next. Whenever a Protoss gets gas this early, you can always expect him to go gateway, cyber next core, as opposed to two gateway right away. So, I am getting my queen. Uh, initially, in this game, I don't remember what I was planning to do. I think I will not even say it because that will decrease my chance of spoiling it and I am very bad at not spoiling it but as Cybernetic score is going down I am moving my overlord as usual to his expansion to make sure that he does not expand and if he does that I know it's there he is chrono boosting his gateway which I don't know if I was tossed I don't know this 100% but if I was tossed I wouldn't chrono boost my gateway unless I was going to do some kind of rush or I feared there was going to be some kind of rush and given my build that he saw with this probe Come on, eject, eject, you whore. There we go. What he saw with his probe, he shouldn't have been expecting some kind of rush, but here are some links coming in. I lose track of them a little bit. I kind of forget about them, and bleh, one dies. I run away. I could have kept him in there and scouted out a little bit. Would have been nice to know that he was getting a robotics facility, which means immortals. I do not know this at this point. And all I have is my spawning pool, and I'm kind of sneaking an expansion down here. I don't want to place it right here. It's easier to protect if it's right here, but this is a very large choke. He can come from over this ramp as well. So there's not much difference from here to here, except that it's a longer traveling di distance. But I will sacrifice that traveling distance for the sneaky factor. I am very sneaky. Second gateway going down for him, as well as his robotics facility. I'm surprised he didn't save up gas to train out an immortal right away, but now he has enough. He is pumping his immortal out and chrono boosting that, so you can expect to see an attack pretty soon. A lot of Protoss like to attack once they have a couple of, of immortals, about two, two or three immortals, and they always mix in some sentries, maybe a stalker or two, but uh, the stalkers are kind of rare. You don't see them too often when you do get immortal builds. But he blocks off the ramp thinking I'm going to go up, and so I just decided to surround his sentry and take it out. So I lost 100 gold, gold worth of lings, and he lost 50 gold and 100 gas of his sentry. And uh, the sentry also had energy that was stored up, and so that's kind of a little bonus for me there. But I do have my link speed. I see this immortal. I'm just trying to, you know... Get some scouting in, see what's going on. Just links are fast. You can do whatever you want with them. And yeah, check it out. It is BJ's Clam Shack and Rob's Guns. Interesting uh, store combination there. Uh, clam store next to a gun shop. But I do pump out massive links because I saw this force. I had a feeling he'd be moving out two zealots and one immortal and one probe to my uh, 12 or so links, 14 links now. 
My expansion isn't up and running. I'm busy uh, struggling to train units to try to stop any attack that he might throw at me. But I do have my Roach Den, just because I'm too far away from Hydras, and I don't think just Lings will do it. Although Roaches are weak against Immortals, I felt uh, you know I needed that Roach support just to tank some hits and such. But uh, Immortals do 50 damage to Roaches. Roaches have 145 life, but they reduce 2 damage each time. So the first three shots from Immortals will actually do 144 damage to Roaches. So it's a kind of interesting factor that it actually takes four shots for an Immortal to kill a Roach and not just three. So they aren't ter- I mean, yes, they are terrible against Immortals, but they do tank a little bit. You know, they tank four shots from uh, Immortals, so you should rather- it, you'd rather want them to just, you know, fight the other units as well and just say, no, I'm not going to get him because he has Immortals. But I've got a nice little funnel here going. My Queen is attacking, my Roaches are attacking, and I am dropping his Zelts very fast while my Zerglings uh, are tanking the Immortal, which is better than Roaches taking Immortal, just tanking Immortals despite, you know, him being able to take four shots. And I do run him away, but my Roaches aren't fast enough to catch up with him. And look at this, he actually, uh, actually didn't micro that well enough. I could have brought my Ling up and attacked this Immortal two more times to take, in, to take it out. But because he is retreating, I think I am going to start getting some probes at that, ex some drones at the expansion, so I can actually make use of it. And look at this, I uh, I want to make up for my mistake here, and so I'm sending in six lings, and they're going to attempt to take out this immortal right here. Will they be able to? Yes, they do. I try to run, but they both die. Still standard uh, zerglings and roaches here. I do have a hatchery or a, a lair, and I'm going hydras. I choose to go hydras and not mutas because with warp gates, which he does not have actually. Oh yes, he does have them, but he hasn't transitioned into warp gates. I don't know. Yeah, those aren't warp gates, but he could just warp in some stalkers and sentries, you know, right away against mutas. Mutas just aren't as effective against Protoss anymore, simply because uh, the new patch changed stalkers' attack from eight damage plus six to armored units to, oh, there's an observer, to 10 damage plus 4 to armored units. So overall they have the same damage versus all, uh, armored units, but they do much better against uh, unarmored units, such as mutalisks or zerglings, you know, drones, that sort of thing. So they are a lot stronger against mutalisks, and zerglings aren't quite as strong against them.